What's up, video creator? It's videomark.net back in full glory, as you can see and hear. Hopefully, I look and sound better, a little better, because I switched up my setting a little bit. And this time, we're going to be looking at frame blocking, or as some people call it, walk-by effect. I don't know why they would call it walk-by effect, probably because when you're pointing at someone and someone's walking by, they mask it out and that's the walk by effect. I don't know. I call it frame blocking and I think that's the correct term. And that's also a pretty simple process. It requires a little manual work in Premiere Pro, but the outcome, as you can see, is a pretty cool shot. So let's see how it's done. All right, we're here in the timeline. And these are the two clips that we're going to be using today. Again, little disclaimer, I got this from Envato Elements. Um, this video is not sponsored <laughs> by Envato Elements because I'm way too small, wink, wink. But I use this all the time, perfect for tutorials like these. But even in my everyday work, uh, it's invaluable, an invaluable resource. It saved me many, many times. You should go and check it out. And if you want to follow along, go ahead and download these clips. So in order to create that effect, we're going to use that, uh, take that first clip and move it over the second one as we want to reveal the second one. Okay. And then find the moment where we actually want to mask this tree and head over to the effect controls panel and under opacity right here, um, click on that pen tool and then the pen icon. I mean, it's a pretty common icon here. It says free draw Bezier, but it's the pen tool. And we and the canvas, we want to give us a little real estate to work with. And when you click around, you, you're going to see that you will be creating a regular mask. But what we, what we actually want to do, we want to click and drag, which then drags out this Bezier handles, uh, which will give us the option to actually draw curved masks. Okay. And if you want to change the direction, let me show you. Click, hold the Alt or Option key. You're going to see that this is going to, the symbol, that icon is going to change, and then you can actually change the direction to have sharp angles, okay? But in this case, it's enough. It's good enough to just click and drag and then drag this mask, and then you uh, close the mask, and then you got your, your mask, okay? And from here, um... We did draw our mask. We want to enable the auto keyframing, which is going to set the first keyframe. And maybe we want to expand that mask feather a little bit. Well, significantly actually. 50 is gonna is gonna work for us. So as you can see here, let's let's zoom in a little bit. Um, so it looks a little more natural. Okay. So again, click on the mask to actually see the mask. And from here, we actually want to move this mask around. So it's following the, the, uh, the movement. So we click on the timeline, hit the, the arrow key twice, and then just grab this mask and move it over. Do that again, a couple of times. And we just wanted this shape to have like a more organic, more natural shape. It's, uh, it's happening so quickly that it's actually, it's, it's not, as you can see, it's not a perfect shape anymore, but it doesn't matter. It's still going to look, look good. Okay. So one last time, one last frame and we're out of frame and now go back and do that to the other direction. Rotoscoping artists are going to kill me now because <laughs> that's probably not the best workflow, but you get the idea. You just want to move the mask. Um, this time, we actually want to move these points. So just select these points on the left side and move them over. Again, find the edge of that tree. Right here. It looks a little sloppy when I do this, but when this is in motion, it's going to it's going to look okay, right? And really, it's just a split second where this is happening. And boom. And when we play this now, let me set an in and out frame. 
Boom. That's it. That's our flame blocking. Thank you for watching. <laughs> no, I mean, look, it's very simple as if, as I've seen again, it's a little sloppy here, but in motion, really, you can't really tell, um, that the mask is not perfect. It looks as if this tree is revealing the other, the next scene. You can do this with people, um, walking by the camera. That's a very common, common shot, but you get the idea how this works. Okay. So what do we do? So what we did was actually uh, moved that one clip on top of the other one, head over to the effect controls panel in the opacity, click that. You can actually use a, just a uh, square mask, but or a rectangular mask, but we did use the pen tool to actually create curved, a curved mask and dragging out those Bezier handles is going to give us a little bit more control over the mask shape, okay, over the points. And that's basically it. It's a pretty simple thing to do and a very common technique. You could just see that in a lot of travel videos with a with fast paced edit, fast paced edits. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but some people refer to this as the Sam Calder effect. But um, actually, I, I always thought Sam Calder was that zoom rotation thing. I don't know. You tell me what, what, which effect is the Sam Calder effect. I don't know. I hear that all the time. <laughs> anyway, this is frame blocking or walk by effect. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment and uh, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you like this video, learn something new and just appreciate these free tutorials. That would help me out big time. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.